killed and another is in a serious but stable condition in hospital after a crash on Indian Ocean Drive. A car collided with a bus with 34 passengers on board near the Pinnacles turn off at Nambung. The car flipped onto its roof, trapping the three women inside. The bus passengers were unable to escape because the door was jammed. The crash has now been cleared. Last week, the state government announced it would spend $24 million on projects to improve the safety of Indian Ocean Drive and Brand Highway. Chaos on one of WA's most notorious stretches of road. Today, Indian Ocean Drive descended into mayhem when a car collided with a bus with 34 passengers on board. It happened just before 2 o'clock this afternoon near the Pinnacles turn-off in Nambung. The car flipped onto its roof, trapping the three occupants inside. Authorities say the force of the crash so powerful they were knocked unconscious on impact. The passengers on the bus unable to escape because the door was jammed. Firefighters arrived to find the walking wounded. The road turned into a makeshift hospital as emergency crews did everything they could. The RAC rescue chopper airlifted two people to Royal Perth Hospital in a critical condition. Incredibly, the passengers on the bus only received minor injuries. They were taken to local medical centres for treatment. Indian Ocean Drive was closed in both directions, main roads advising motorists to avoid the area. It's become one of the state's most deadly stretches of road. Just last month, a man was killed when he crashed into an oncoming car. In December last year, a car crash killed three people and injured 11 others when a ute clipped a camper trailer before crossing to the wrong side of the road and hitting a minibus. On Wednesday, the WA government announced it would spend $24 million on projects to improve the safety of Indian Ocean Drive and Brand Highway.